Hey there, everybody. Michael here, playing Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. Sorry I haven't made any videos in a while. There have been technical difficulties. I had to start the game all over from the beginning again. Weird stuff like that. But the good news is I think everything's A-OK, -okay, so I can continue playing right now. At the end of the last video, I believe I was about to join the bombers, so I'm going to do that now. It's the same as it was when you were a Deku Shrub. Just pop the balloon. Only this time, talk to Jim as Human Link and not as Deku Shrub Link. He invites you to join the Bombers by playing the game of Hide and Seek. And you know, I like the Bombers, but I feel kind of bad for the one on the left because he doesn't know how to jump properly. Yeah, not only does he jump at the wrong time, but as soon as he jumps, he falls down on the ground. Poor little guy. The bomber game is the same as it was last time. All you have to do is tag them as soon as you find them in order to capture them. So find all five of them and you get to become an official member of the bombers and you get the official handbook and it's really cool. You can't wait to see what the official handbook is like, right? And I like how if you pause here, Link is just stuck upside down for as long as you want. Just frozen upside down, it's like, No, don't mind me, I'm cool here hanging upside down until you press the blue button again. Link is pretty cool like that. And just like last time, in East Clock Town, two of the bombers are on the roofs. We have this one on the roof here, and the other one is on the roof of the Stockpot Inn. Alright, caught that one. And let me see, the inn doesn't open until 8 o'clock, so let's get onto the roof by means of the Deku Shrub Flower. Alright, where'd he go? There he is! And once again, Link is upside down. Okay, okay, that's good. We found four of the little boys. We only have to find one more, and you know where he is. He's over on the west side of town. On the uh, upper part. Yeah, I'll show you where he is in just a minute, but you know what? I think I'm going to stop by the bank while I'm in the area. Might as well withdraw a couple of rupees. Okay, so I have 30 rupees in the bank, so let's take out all of them. Yes, I'm going to use the rupees to purchase something, and there's the bomber! And wait, what's this? Okay, it looks like a training center for anybody who wants to learn how to use the sword. Okay, here we go. It's the Swordsman's School, run by a guy with a lot of hair. Yo, man, you want to learn how to use a sword? You gotta take the expert course, man. As soon as a log appears, you need to do a jump attack on the log by pressing the A button. Do this ten times in a row, and you win the prize. And as you can guess, this is why I took money out of the bank. I wanted to afford the training course, because if you destroy all ten of the logs with a jump attack, you will receive... Well, let's just wait and see what you receive. I'm not going to spoil it for you. Do 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 do! It's a piece of heart! And hey, is that a giant gong? Okay, let me show you how to make the gong sound. It's kind of cool when you do it as Deku Shrub Link. Because you get to hear the sound over and over again, and sometimes when you do it, you get rupees, but apparently not now. And sneak attack on the bomber! Because he's waiting right outside the door, so as soon as you leave the building, you're right next to the bomber! So it makes it really easy to capture him, and now that we've captured all five bombers, as promised, we become an official member, and we get an official handbook, and hey, the guy on the left? 
He knows how to jump now! Awesome! Good for him! He learned how to jump. And this is the official notebook, the Bomber's Notebook, which helps you keep track of all the various characters in the game. You get promise stickers and happy stickers! So this is really, really cool. I'll show you how it works in the next video when I get a promise sticker and a happy sticker for two different characters, I believe. For now, Link writes this information in his notebook. And let me see, I still have some time left, so I think I'll go to the north. And in the area to the north, I think I'll fight some Dodongos. You see we have the snowy area to the north, and those green lizard monsters from the first Zelda game, they're back. So when you destroy one of those Dodongo monsters, you will receive 50 rupees. Okay, let me show you an area right over here. Like I said, in the next video I'm going to show you how the Bomber's Notebook works, and this is the area that will be important in the next video. This little mushroom cloud thingy, mushroom area with a circle of rocks on it, something happens there at midnight. So I will return there at midnight to have some Bomber's Notebook fun. In the meantime, drop down into the hole underneath that area, and you can defeat the two Dodongos there in order to get a piece of heart. Of course, it's kind of difficult to fight the Dodongos because there are two of them. So, while you're busy attacking one, that leaves the other one free to attack you. So, you kind of have to keep an eye out for both Dodongos. Don't just focus on one, because if you focus on one, you might lose track of the other one and get a sneak attack from behind. Link only has three hearts right now, and each Dodongo attack takes away one full heart of damage, so they really can kill you rather easily if you're not being careful. Alright, this fight is going to take a while, actually. Um, there's probably going to be no room left for anything else in this video. You see, it takes a lot of hits to destroy the Dodongos, when you have the uh, super-powered sword, which Link can get later on in the game, I believe it only takes three hits. But I don't have that sword yet. So... It takes more like ten hits to destroy them. I wonder what sword Link is using. I think he must be using the Kokiri sword. Because he's certainly not using the Master Sword. So by default, he must be using the wimpy little Kokiri sword, which doesn't do a lot of damage. Which is why it's taking me a long time to kill the Dodongos. And you might have noticed when I killed that one Dodongo, I picked up a pink rupee worth 50 rupees. I'm not sure why that's the case. I thought in the previous game, you get a purple rupee, which is worth 50 rupees, but for some reason, they changed it from purple to pink. I'm not sure why. Anyway, as I said, when both Dodongos are killed, they explode and you get a piece of heart. Okay, so I'll get the piece of heart, then I'll deposit my rupees in the bank, and I'll see you again in the next video.